On a more positive note, it's been unknown territory until now. Scientists have started surveying a huge parcel of land in South Australia's outback, south of Coober Pedy, for the first time. The area has already unearthed hundreds of plants and animals, with some tipped to be new species. Once a sheep station, now a wildlife haven. Bon Bon Station Reserve is the size of Sydney and is considered almost a blank canvas of biodiversity. Little is known about the full range of plant and animal life. But that's about to change. In just a few days, the team has dug 80 pits and set over 160 traps to catch wildlife. Up to 70 animals are collected each day, many of which scientists believe have not yet been described. As you said, we've had this property for two years now and to get this level of knowledge that will come out of this survey this early on in our, our management of the reserve will be, be a really valuable thing. The survey is part of Bush Blitz, a national program to document plants and animals in Australia's reserves. Scientists have been most excited to find marsupials such as dunnarts which continue to decline. There is however plenty of vegetation with botanists collecting about 300 different species in the first 24 hours of the survey. One of the opportunities you have when it's a really good, there's been really good winter rains is you've got lots of stuff flowering or you get things that appear that just don't come up. Um, for a, a long time. So. These entomologists have collected 80 different species of bees, of which two thirds could be new to science. It is quite likely that there will be new species, but I, I can only tell after examining them in the, in, in the laboratory. Bush Heritage Australia says before it took over the reserve, species were being lost before they could be catalogued. This survey aims to discover how many have managed to survive in an area that sheep had grazed for almost 130 years. The survey will enable scientists to determine how money can be spent better to enhance biodiversity in the region. Kim Robertson, ABC News, south of Coober Pedy.